Hi Manifestors, it's Mira Allen with your Manifesting Destiny Moon Update. We're coming to a super new moon in Pisces and I'm going to read the times for you first. So it's London on the 20th of February at 7.05am for Sydney, Australia, 20th of February at 6.05pm in the evening and for Brisbane that would be 5.05pm in the evening. For LA, 19th of February at 11.05 in the evening and New York 20th of February at 2.05 a.m. in the middle of the night. So roughly where you are in the world, you can always Google where you are in the world. This new moon in Pisces, I was really feeling so soft and I did my hair soft and I wore soft clothing and I felt very Pisces as I did this. I felt quite dreamy. I slept in this morning. I've had a very slow and gentle Piscean morning and it's been very healing and gentle for me personally. So I wanted to really get that across to you guys that this new moon can be very soft, gentle and healing just from what I've been embodying on this lead up. I did also pick a card just from the Jasmine Boland's deck, um, which I love Jasmine Boland. She's amazing, one of our Australian astrologers from her Moonology, I'm not sponsored, Moonology Oracle card decks, and she's awesome. And I closed my eyes before I did this recording and asked, what is it that we need to know? What is it that needs to come through for the collective? And I got, by weird coincidence, I actually got the full moon in Pisces, card you know and it's beautiful because it has the two fish you know it has the Pisces symbol you know I, I still get surprised when intuitively these things happen I still have those moments of like oh you know I really closed my eyes and sat here I relaxed into my couch and I just sat with the deck of cards and then shuffled and pulled one out and um and that's what it was it says balance and spirituality with balance, sorry, balance spirituality and practicality. And I think that's what happens a lot. Pisces is the completion as well. You know, it's the end of the zodiac. You know, it's before we move into that fiery Aries time, before we really kind of take off. So it's nice to have this time of reflection, completion, healing, gentleness, real ease and grace, you know. So I'm glad I did the video today because Yesterday I was definitely not in that kind of a mode and today I definitely, definitely am. And so I wanted to point out a couple of little things. I made actual notes so I don't lose track of myself because I tend to get intuitive downloads sometimes. So I made the notes about Neptune, Venus, Sun and Moon. Pisces is right where all these guys are hanging out. So of course for a new moon, Sun and Moon are together. So they're both in Pisces. And then Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces, is also in Pisces. And then Venus, the planet of love, she's also in Pisces. I and mean, it's just like one big Pisces fest going on right now. So this new moon, you know, the sun and moon, the sun, who we are by day, the moon, who we are in our intuity of our nighttime self, our emotional body, in our feminine. So our masculine and feminine are both in that intuitive water sign of Pisces. But then we have Neptune, Pisces' is ruler that is also in Pisces. So what is Neptune? Neptune's the underwater world. He's the ruler of the underwater world. What is our underwater world? It's our deeper subconscious, our spirituality, our inner waters that just know. Where in that part of ourselves, this new moon on the 20th or the 19th, wherever you are in the world, where can you go into the inner subconscious, spiritual, connected, inner knowing. So beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful time. It's also a brilliant time for healing. So I did mention a couple of times in my videos, yeah, my hip's been a bit funny, but that's because of my ankle, it's my ankle stability, and now I'm working on that, and it's just been healing. And I actually, you know, ran for the first time in ages on the treadmill, and it just felt so good to be running again, you know. So this time can be a time of completion of, Maybe, you know, for me, it's personally, it was like a slowing down and stopping where now I get to gradually, gradually start back up again. And it's so lovely. So see where in this past year, since, since the last, this time last year, 
What have you gone through that's now a little bit of completion in yourself? What part of you has had a little bit of healing? And the other thing that I wanted to go through with you guys is Venus is also in Pisces. How has your heart felt either full or overflowing or empty or where does your heart need a bit of healing? So this Pisces time, I mean, for some people it could be, you know, the part of your life that might be healing is um, physical, like my ankle's been physically needing healing. Or for some people it might be uh, financial, they need a bit of healing. Or for some people it's the Venus that's gone into Pisces where it's your heart that needs a bit of healing or your relationships. So just have a look at what in your life over this next couple of days till this new moon, what in your life needs a little bit of soothing, needs a bit of gentleness, needs a bit of healing. I mean, my ankle definitely needed a bit of strengthening actually to give it its healing. So where in your life can you give something some attention, some strength to give it the healing that it deserves? Because remember that card I picked out with Yasmin Bolin? It said the balance between the spirituality and practicality. You know, it'd be all nice and fluffy and roses if we go to live in this beautiful Piscean intuitive spiritual world all day. I know I'd like to just sit and sit in my hammock and look at the sky all day and just float around the ocean. But that's not the reality of life. There's all these practical things that we do. And so we've got to keep a nice balance of our internal meditative space and our practice versus being out in the world and with people. And, you know, there's all these dynamics that go on in relationships as well. So we're always in that world and the monetary side of the world and the physical wealth the physical health so all these things that we've got to look at um, balancing our spirituality to our practicality this new moon though i wanted to do a little fun intuitive thing because that's what i like to do so why not especially because it's um new moon in pisces and when it's a super new moon it just means the moon's closer to the earth and so we weren't so th some people get confused with the new moon and the full moon and i realized you know because i've been so lunar my whole since my childhood i never questioned what a new moon and a full moon was i always thought it was just very obvious that the new moon is completely dark you know and there's no light of the sun the earth is completely blocking out the shadow of the earth is the exact same size as the face of the moon in terms of the distance from the sun it's just a dynamic and perfect dance between the masculine and the feminine it's just quite powerful like the sun as in being in that masculine, shining its light on the face of the moon, it's feminine and gives it that full moon glow. So when there's a dark, a new moon, the masculine is unable to shine that light on the feminine and the feminine withdraws and goes within. When I say feminine, humans, our inside, our emotional self, our nighttime self, our inner self, our spiritual self, our subconscious self, our Neptunian self goes within into that dark space. It's a brilliant time for deepening your meditation practice and journeying inside. Very, very powerful time for that when it's a new moon in Pisces. So let's see what our little light deck says. And this one's from Rebecca Campbell, another beautiful Aussie woman. And what does this new moon in Pisces bring for the collective for our manifesting? What a really powerful card, protection. You are protected. Calling back your power, cutting the cords and soul retrieval. It's interesting it says cutting the cords and soul retrieval. A big part of Pisces is the closure, which I mentioned earlier being the last sign of the zodiac. And it's very evolved spiritually, Pisces. There's a there's a knowing that wants to help the world in a greater way. It wants to help the spiritual um, inner world in, in, a, in a deeper way as well. This Piscean time that we're literally about to enter into, it, it is also when we look at our karmic beginnings and endings. We look at our karmic cycles that start, begin, close, ended. What do they feel like? And I really feel like it's time to look at all those aspects especially those four aspects which Pisces is sitting in right now. The sun self, who you are in your career, in your daylight, in your day self, who do you present to the world, your sun self, you know, your vocation, your work, or your who sees you in the daytime. So what, what is it that your sun service providing self looks like and what, what's had closure there? And then having a look at your moon self, your emotional body, 
in your also your spiritual body, in your feminine part of yourself, how you connect to nurture, nature, receive. You know, I've had a pedicure this week, I've had a massage, I've had two massages this week. You know, how do you how do you receive? How do you nurture inwardly? You know, I've been really eating lots of broccoli. Suddenly, tons of broccoli has been a really big thing for me to bring into my life lately. So what's happened for you in your, in your inner waters, your intuition and your feminine part of yourself, the way you nurture yourself? And then also Pisces being in Neptune, what do you put into your subconscious? What do you watch um, before you go to sleep? Uh, what, do you, what do you watch first thing when you wake up in the morning? Or what do you read or what do you do? What do you listen to? What music um, are you hearing when you, um, are, you know, going about your day? The other part that says cut the cord, soul retrieval and call back your power. Looks quite boundary, this card. I'll just, if you can see that clearly. It's very, very, I don't know if I held that right. Hopefully I got that right. It's a very boundary card, protection. You know, what do you believe that higher protection comes from for you? Do you call it in? Do you do you use that in the mornings or in the night times, or do you use it throughout your day when you call in that higher protection? You know, whether it's God, the Earth, you know, Allah, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, like whatever you want to call in. What is that protection? What does it feel like when you connect to the higher divine in your silence? You know, I recently did a I have a book club that I do on Thursday nights, and we all sat in silence for for eight minutes. And we didn't want it to end. When it ended, it felt like, oh, that was so quick. You know, what a Piscean thing to do in terms of a new moon in Pisces, going to the darkness and the darkness and the darkness so that you can go inside and go into the lightness within. So really a powerful time to go within. So that's the Neptune aspect. And then finally, that Venus being in Pisces at the moment as well, really going into your heart space where do you feel like you need to call back your power for your heart? Where do you feel like you need to cut the cords? Where do you feel like there needs to be soul retrieval for your heart space to have the emotional boundaries and filling up the cup? You know, it's it's such an important thing. And nowadays in the world, there's there's so much that tugs on our heartstrings. Day to day, there's so much calling our um, energy and attention. And where you put your energy and attention is really where you're putting your heart space. So perhaps now's a nice time with this completion in Pisces to take stock take of those aspects of your life, your sun, your moon, your Venus, your Neptune, your day self, your emotional body, your connection to nature, your subconscious and your heart. How did all of those things combined have a really nice way of going internally to look at a really nice way of having completion? really nice and easy and gentle and soft way of having that feeling that I'm protected, I'm guided, I'm okay to have my soul retrieved away from this technology, this computer, this phone or this um, ideologies that may be going around in the world, you know, there's war and all these, like all these things that are going on, you know, we can look at all the negatives of the world. But when we withdraw our five senses and we go into that soft and beautiful Neptunian, Piscean, meditative, also imaginative space, it's a beautiful watery time. You get to go into your inner waters a little deeper. It's been a bit of a theme lately, you know, going into that inner self first and foremost. This is imperative right now. This is a bit of a long video today. It's just, I'm getting this so clearly. And it can be in the most gentle way. You know, I called my, my best friend in Canada and I hadn't spoken to Tia in ages and shout out Tia and the fam. And, you know, it's it's simple connection. It doesn't need to be, you know, she was, we were texting and texting and I thought, oh, I just want to call her and say hi, you know. It's been almost a year since I've had a good chat to, to Tia, you know, and it just feels like no time has passed because at a soul level there's a connection, you know. So go into your inners and think about what it is you've had completion with, where in your life you can have that little bit of extra healing and where can you be a little bit more inward in your gentleness, in your meditative practice. And you'll be able to use this new moon in Pisces in a very creative, intuitive and healing space for you. I hope this has provided some insight um, as 
best as I can and I hope you felt the dreaminess and the wateriness and my outfit and the softness of what I was bringing. I've had about four baths this week so really bringing those waters in. Enjoy this new moon in Pisces wherever you are in the world. If you have not subscribed now is the time and opportunity to subscribe. I only do four videos a month and that's pretty much new moon, full moon and two videos in between on manifesting just to help you live the life that you really want to manifest into your own destiny. My name is Nira Allen. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your subconscious and your waters. Namaste.